Welcome to an introduction to addition using clock arithmetic. When we add whole numbers, the sum is larger than the add-ins. For example, when we sum 3 and 24, we get the larger number, 27. But when we work with time, specifically with clocks, the numbers cycle back on themselves. It will never be 49 o'clock, for example. Once 12 o'clock is reached, we go back to 1 and repeat the numbers, ignoring military time. For example, 4 hours after 11 a.m. is 3 p.m., not 15 a.m. Looking at the clock below, at 11 a.m. the hour hand would point to the 11. Four hours later, we count four hours to the right, or four hours clockwise, from 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it is 3 p.m., not 15 a.m. Math worked on the clock where numbers restart after passing 12 is called clock arithmetic. Clock arithmetic hinges on the number 12. Each cycle of 12 hours returns to the original time, or the hour hand points to the same number on the clock. Imagine going around the clock one full time. 12 hours pass, but the time is the same. Right now the hour hand points at 3 for 3 o'clock. 12 hours later, the hour hand rotates one complete rotation clockwise around the clock, returns back to 3, and it is still 3 o'clock. What do the numbers 3, 15, 27, and 39 have in common in relation to 12? If we divide all of them by 12, notice in each case the remainder is 3. This is key for clock arithmetic. In general terms, or in math terms, if we let n be a positive integer, then n modulo 12, written n mod 12, is a remainder when n is divided by 12. If the remainder is x, we can also state n is congruent to x mod 12. These three horizontal segments that resemble an equal sign represent congruence. Let's look at two examples. First, we have 17 mod 12. 17 mod 12 is equal to the remainder. When 17 is divided by 12, 17 divided by 12 equals 1 with the remainder of 5. Because the remainder is 5, we now know 17 mod 12 equals 5. And we can also state 17 is congruent to 5 mod 12. For a second example, 38 mod 12 is equal to the remainder when 38 is divided by 12. 38 divided by 12 equals 3 with the remainder of 2, indicating 38 mod 12 equals 2, as well as 38 is congruent to 2 mod 12. A good visualization is to wrap a number line around the clock with the zero at the starting time rather than 12 as shown here on the right. Then each time we add 12 on the number line, we are back at the starting spot on the clock or zero. This is referred to as modulo 12 arithmetic. For example, if we go back up to 17 mod 12, we would think of the hour hand pointing at the zero and then count 17 hours into the future. Notice after 12 hours, we'd be back at zero and then we'd count five more hours, one, two, three, four, five, giving us 17 mod 12 equals five. For 38 mod 12, we'd start at zero because 38 divided by 12 is three with the remainder of two. Three complete rotations around the clock would be 36 hours, and then 37, 38 hours, the arrow hand points to the two, indicating 38 mod 12 equals two. To add numbers modulo 12, there are two methods. For the first method, we can divide the numbers by 12 to find the remainders and then add, or we can add the numbers first, then divide by 12 and determine the remainder. Either way, the result is the same. We'll take a look at both methods. As an example, let's consider 2 plus 32 mod 12. The mod 12 here applies to both the 2 and the 32. So one method is to go ahead and just find the sum of 2 and 32, which gives us 34 mod 12. To evaluate 34 mod 12, we divide 34 by 12. Notice the remainder is 10, indicating 34 mod 12 equals 10. The other option is to divide the 2 and 32 by 12 first, meaning we first determine 2 mod 12 and 32 mod 12. Well, of course, 2 mod 12 is equal to 2, and 32 mod 12, we can see on the right, is equal to 8, and 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. In both cases, the result is 10. Just be aware, using the second method, sometimes when we find the sum, the number could be 12 or larger, and therefore we'd have to evaluate modulo 12 one more time. Before we go, let's look at two examples involving time. First, we have, if it is 3 o'clock, what time will it be in 53 hours? We can write this as 3 plus 53 mod 12. And again, we have two methods to evaluate this. Let's first write this as 3 mod 12 plus 53 mod 12. And of course, 3 mod 12 is equal to 3. 53 mod 12 is equal to the remainder when 53 is divided by 12, which is 5, which gives us 3 mod 12 plus 5 mod 12, 
which is 8 mod 12, which is 8, since 8 is less than 12, and therefore it is 8 o'clock. This method tends to resemble using the actual clock to find the sum. For example, for 3 o'clock, the hour hand points at 3, and now we need to count 53 hours later. Four complete rotations from 3 o'clock would be 48 hours later, so there's 12, 24, 36, 48, and then we count to 53 from here, so 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, and it's 8 o'clock. The other option would be to find the sum first. 3 plus 53 mod 12 equals 56 mod 12. And now we divide 56 by 12, which gives us a remainder of 8. Notice the result is the same. It's 8 o'clock. So the first method resembles using the clock, but the second method does tend to be quicker. And for our second example, if it is 10 o'clock now, what time is it in 18 hours? Let's write this as 10 plus 18 mod 12, which we can also write as 10 mod 12 plus 18 mod 12. 10 mod 12 is equal to 10. We'll leave that as 10 mod 12. 18 mod 12 we can see is equal to 6, which we can also write as 6 mod 12. And now we add the remainders, which gives us 16 mod 12. So here's the case where we have to find modulo 12 one more time. 16 mod 12 is equal to 4, indicating it's 4 o'clock. We're using the clock. We begin with the hour hand pointing at 10, and we go ahead 18 hours. Going ahead 12 hours brings us back to the 10, and from here we count 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and it is 4 o'clock. Or using the second more efficient method, and now we divide 28 by 12, which of course also gives us 4, indicating it's 4 o'clock. I hope you found this helpful.